Dinosaur Dinorama is mine is about the myth of a unicorn. Yes, looks so great. You must have worked really hard on it. Oh, thank you. 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 Oh,
can we still do our dioramas today? And she was like, I don't think so. And so we went to the schoolyard. I really wanted to show my project. It's not fair. Whoa. Was everyone okay? Was there a real fire? No, there was no fire. It was just a false alarm. Someone must have set it off. I'm glad to hear everyone was okay, but I'm sorry to hear you couldn't show your diorama, Lisa. I'm sure you'll get to show it tomorrow. Yeah, I guess. Can you pass the potatoes? Sure, Jimmy. Good morning, class. Now today, we're going to finally show our dioramas. Mrs. Smith? Yes, Gordon. Let me guess. Do you have to go to the bathroom? Yes. Students, please remember to use the bathroom before you leave in the morning. Go ahead, Gordon. Hurry back. Thanks. Okay. Lisa, why don't you go first today? Yes. Okay, everyone. Who sort of a unicorn? And who thinks they're real? What? Again? This can't be happening. Oh, no! Oh, dear. Okay, students, time to line up. You hear the alarm? Please line up in an orderly fashion. I can't believe this is happening again. We have to find out who's doing this! Attention students! This is your principal speaking. A wise man once said, If somebody is gracious enough to give me a second chance, I won't need a third. Everyone, please line up at your spots. We are investigating the cause for the alarm. Thank you. I can't believe it. Again? Jimmy, we have to figure out who's doing this. Hmm, but how? I don't know. Can't you come up with an invention or something? Hmm. Yes, Lisa, I have an idea. Students, this is your principal speaking. A wise man once said, Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. We have the all clear. It was a false alarm again. Sorry about that, but thank you for once again being safe. You're showing everyone how ready our school is for an emergency. Back to your classes. Thank you. How was school today? Lisa, did you finally get to show your diorama? No, it's not fair. Just as I was about to show it, the fire alarm rang again. Again? Yeah, for the second day in a row. That's ridiculous. Did they find out who's been doing this? No, I can't believe it! <gasps> so I was like on the school bus, and Fisher and I were like, we finally get to show our projects! And then we got to school, and Mrs. Smith said I got to go first! And I was like, yes, so I got to the front of the class. Is it finished? Just one more piece. There. It's a high-resolution CCD with a built-in H.264 video codec and a high-capacity SD card. I'll stick it in my locker. I've attached it to a 5,000 milliamp hour battery charger, so it should last the whole day. In English, Jimmy! What? Oh, it's a video camera. Cool, so we'll be able to see who did it? Yeah, I'll stick it in my locker tomorrow. Wow, so cool! Now, Lisa, there's one important thing. What, Jimmy? We cannot tell anyone about the camera. Not even Mom or Dad. 
Otherwise, the person who did it might find out it was us who caught him. Or her. Or her. I see. It has to be a secret. That's right. Okay, you can trust me. Great. Jimmy, Lisa, it's bedtime. Okay, okay Mom. Mom. Jimmy, Lisa, the school bus is here. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Hi, Fisher. Hi, Lisa. Do you think it's going to happen again? What? The fire alarm, obviously. Oh, no, I don't think so. If it does, I hope they catch him. Or her. Why does everyone keep assuming it's a boy? We don't even know if it was a student. It could just be a technical glitch in the alarm circuit. I doubt it! Anyway, how can they catch the person who did it? Well, actually... Uh, let's change the subject. What are you guys doing this weekend? No, Jamie, this is more important. This can't happen again. Okay, you're right. But I'm sure they'll catch him. Or her. Or her. Okay, I think it's ready. I just have to turn it on. And, there. I'm so excited! Now remember. I know, I know, I can't tell anyone! Right. Good morning, class. Now, I hope we don't have a repeat of what happened yesterday. Mrs. Smith? Oh, yes, Gordon. You can use the bathroom. Thanks. Mrs. Smith? Yes, Fisher? Can I go first today? Actually, Fisher, Lisa was in the middle of her presentation yesterday when the alarm went off. It's only fair she gets to... Oh, for goodness sake, not again. Now, I know this is getting old, but we have to follow procedure. Everyone, please line up. I can't believe it! Again? We have to find out who's doing this! Oh, we will! What? Nothing. I mean, I hope we will. Attention students! This is your principal speaking. A wise man once said, By three methods we may learn wisdom. First, by reflection which is the noblest. Second, by imitation, which is easiest. And third, by experience, which is the bitterest. Everyone, please to your spots while we investigate once more. Thank you. Do you think it's working? Yes, it should work. We'll have to wait until after school to find out for sure. I'm so excited to find out who it was! Me too. We'll have to be patient, though. Did you tell anyone? No, not anyone! Even Fisher? Even Fisher! I almost said it, but I caught myself. Good. It's really important. Otherwise, he'll know. Or she... Or she. Open it! Okay, okay. Okay, here it is. Did it work? Let's find out. Now we just have to fast forward. I can't believe it, it's Gordon! Shh! It's Gordon! I know, wow, I can't believe it actually worked. Now we can't tell anyone otherwise. I know, I know, but we have to tell the principal right away. Okay, let's go. Oh! Yes! Jimmy, Lisa, how are you doing? Is everything alright? We'd like to speak to the principal, please. Okay. I'll go get him right now, and I'll let him know you're here. 
Do you think they'll believe us? He has to. We have it on video. Okay, the principal's ready for you right this way. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Lisa. Welcome to the principal's office. A wise man once said, I'm more a fan of my fans than I think they are of me. <laughs> I'm told you have something urgent to discuss. Hi, Principal. We know who's been setting off the fire alarm. Oh? That's a good thing. Whoever is responsible has been a big disruption to the school and has to face consequences for their actions. You're right not to want to be a tattletale and tell on someone for every little thing that they do. But it's important it's Gordon! To I see. And how do you know it is Gordon? Well, Principal, after two days in a row, I was suspicious that someone might try it a third time. So at home, I built this contraption and placed it in my locker. It's a video camera, and I hid it so that it has a clear view of the fire alarm. Have a look. I see. This is very clear evidence. Thank you for bringing this to my attention and for helping the school become a safer place. Your fellow students owe you a debt of gratitude. You did the right thing, and I'll take it from here. Thanks, Principal! Yes, thanks. You're welcome, Jimmy and Lisa. Jimmy, you're very crafty. I'm impressed you built that video contraption yourself. Make sure you use your skills for good and not evil, you hear? And thanks again for reporting this to me. You have a good evening now. Hurry along and don't miss the bus. Did you guys hear about Gordon? Who's Gordon? It's a boy in Lisa's class. No, what about him? Yeah, what happened to Gordon? He was expelled from the school. Expelled? What for? What does expelled mean? Well, it means a student is not allowed back in the school. <gasps> forever? Not necessarily forever, but perhaps for a long time. Why was he expelled? Nobody is sure, but there is a rumor that it was him who was setting off the fire alarm. I can't believe it was Gordon who did that. Yeah, I can't believe it either. Well, it sounds like the right action. What Gordon did was dangerous to everyone's safety. I wonder how they found out. Yes, I wonder how. I also wonder how because I do not know. Are you guys all right? You're acting a bit strange. No, we're fine, Mom. Yeah, we're fine. I know that look. Is there anything you want to tell us? No, no Mom. Mom. Okay. Jimmy, Lisa, the school bus is here. Bye, Bye Mom. Mom. Bye, Bye Dad. Dad. Hi, Fisher. Hi, Lisa. Did you hear about Gordon? Yeah, I'm sad for him. I can't believe he was expelled. Does anyone know why? I heard it was because he pulled the fire alarm. Really? Gordon? Yeah. It kind of makes sense. He was always going to the bathroom around the time that it happened. Good point. It makes sense that it might have been him. I wonder how they caught him. Well, actually... Uh, let's change the subject. Did you guys notice how beautiful the weather's been lately? Jimmy, why do you keep trying to change the subject when we talk about this? What do you know? Nothing. Nothing. Okay? Well, anyway, I hope he gets back to school soon. I like Gordon. Yeah, me too. I feel bad for him. Good morning, class. Now today we're going to finally show our dioramas. Lisa, take it away before something else happens. Okay, everyone, who's heard of a unicorn? Well, my diorama is how a legend of a unicorn came to be.
You see, there's a sea creature called a narwhal, which has a really long tongue. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss any of our videos.